the STL files of this printer and you can download it free from my website I will show you it on the website also so these are the STL files that I have uploaded on my website and first I will make you understand that how to use them so first of all these two these two are the CAD models of Arduino box and it's the cover for this box and second one is the cover of LCD and these are two prints that will help this cover to attach with the 2020 profile of aluminium in the frame and the third one is this is a filament stand you can see and these three prints will be used in Z axis this is for the NEMA 17 and here you can see a hole here and it will help you to fix in the profile and this is the sport for lead screw and this is the sport for lead screw also but here you will put or you can say fix the brass nut in this hole and these two holes will be attached with the z axis gantry and these two prints are for the end stops or limit switches you will need two prints because one for y axis and one for z axis and for x axis you will have a end stop on the gantry and you will need this print to stop the end stop at the corner you will place this end stop stopper at the end of profile where you want to home your x axis and these are the prints that we will use on the x-axis gantry first of all you will place this print and then these are the prints for v6 hot end you will fit this print in the v6 hot end and then you will fix this with the print and also with the gantry and this is the part cooling fan 3d print here you will fix the part cooling fan with this print and this hole will be used for the fixing of this part with the x-axis gantry this is for x-axis end stop you will place end stop here and then you will put it on the gantry so the next these two prints you will use in the bed and this is a print that you will attach under the bed or which, whichever material you are going to use first of all you are going to pass a screw from this hole and then you are going to attach this face of the print with the base of the acrylic sheet or any other material that you are going to use after that uh, you are going to need four of these two because one for each corner and after putting this print on the under the bed or under the sheet you are going to need springs metallic spring whichever size available for you you are going to put the screw in the put the spring in the screw and then you are going to need a nut that you will fix in this slot here you can see and then you are going to tight this screw on the screw that you have attached in this print so this is how you are going to attach your bed with these two prints after that this is the print for NEMA 17 motor that you are going to use as your extruder motor also you can use this print for the X axis and Y axis motor, NEMA 17 motor, uh, or you can purchase uh, other gantries, metallic gantries from the market. 
it is up to you so these are the prints that I have used in that printer now let me show you that how you can download these prints so this is the website from where you can download the STL files of my 3d printer and you can also visit my website for other STL files and SOLIDWORKS files also available the link of the website is provided in the description these are the SOLIDWORKS files and I'm, I will upload further more files and this is the page for STL files these are some test prints for you I will also upload more so from here you can download the STL files of this printer and I hope you like this video if you need further assistance you can ask me in comment section thank you Allah Hafiz